Okay, here's another project I've tried at home. On the roof here you can see our solar photovoltaic power cells. These generate electricity from the sun. Uh, if you can see along the top there's a black pipe. That's just an irrigation pipe with water that sprays out to cool down the panels. Um, the idea is that uh, when the panels are cooled in this way they can produce up to 20 percent more. Okay electricity. so here's the valve that we connected up to the uh, water cooling unit so you can see here this is the pipe. I've got a um, pressure control valve just to limit the pressure and a filter to try and keep it clean. This valve here is a little uh, 24 volt AC valve that you can send a 24 volt signal one way to uh, open the valve and a 24 volt DC signal the opposite way to close the valve um, but there's no power to keep the valve open so it's a very low power unit. Um, this is a pump under here and I've got a pressure control valve on the pump as well so as soon as this valve is opened the pump will automatically start and stop to spray some water on. Typically when it's turned on, when it needs to turn on, it'll only open the valve for about a second or two, so a short spray of water, um, and the pump will automatically detect the pressure drop and run the pump for a couple of seconds. Um, I'm using rainwater, so this is a rainwater tank. The reason I'm using rainwater is because the water gets sprayed onto the solar panels and then evaporates off, so I don't want to have any calcium or anything like that that's going to build up on the panels. So nice clean rainwater. Um, this is my control lead that goes to the uh, goes to the unit. What I've got here is a little box of electronics. This is using a little pickaxe microcontroller um, and I've got a couple of other leads that go off the sensors. So I've got one temperature sensor that goes onto the actual solar panel so it measures how hot the panels are and this is my other temperature sensor that measures how hot the ambient temperature is and when there's eight degrees difference between the two then I know that the wind isn't cooling the panels very much and that the panels are actually generating a fair bit of electricity so it's worth actually starting the cooling cycle so then I turn the cooling cycle on and basically open the valve for about two seconds and then close it for around 30 seconds but the closing time I adjust it depending on how far away from that eight degrees setting I'm trying to achieve um, and basically when I'm running it uh, I've got a one kilowatt unit on a hot day it might um, say it might be putting out 1100 watts so 1.1 kilowatts um, and then if I turn off the power to this system, turn off the water, the wattage will immediately drop down to, you know, 800 or somewhere around there. But I've done some fairly careful checks and it always seems to be about 20% increase in power output that you get when you turn the cooling system on. And the cooling system uses very little water, in fact it's rainwater, so it's fairly cheap. The pump only turns on for a short length of time, so that's negligible as well. So this seems to be a pretty good system. It's been running for um, just over a year and a half now. So yeah, quite pleased with it. A little bit of complexity trying to program the pickaxe microcontroller and making a little circuit that can turn on the valve, but you get the general idea.